Hey, what's going on everyone? Lace Empress here, where spirituality is our fashion statement. So today, we are going to get into love readings for February. We're going to start off with Aries. So I keep getting the King of Wands as I was pre-shuffling and meditating when I was asking God, like, what signs do I start off with? King of Wands came out and then I just looked at the bottom of the deck. The King of Wands was there again. So uh, you got a strong person that's trying to come in, very fiery person. Okay, Aries, just like yourself. So, let's see how you guys mesh together within February in this love reading. I guess it's appropriate because it's Valentine's Day. So, let's see what's going on with your love for February. Hope you guys are doing well. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with me and keep up with all of the readings that are going to be coming out. Okay, so let's get started. Let's see what the mutual energy is here. We have the three of wands. So you guys here, let's see if we can see. It's showing up pretty good. So you guys are going into some form of a connection that is going to progress something that is going to move forward that is the energy that your person is coming towards you with they want this their overall energy is they want this to be a connection that moves through whatever is in the way i don't know why i'm getting that moves through whatever is in the way like overcoming if it be necessary overcoming okay if it be necessary so this person is not a person that easily gives up okay okay so we have the four swords the seven of pentacles and the devil so right off top i'm hearing rest and wait i don't know what you're waiting on rest and wait or are you sitting back aries to see what type of person this is that's coming towards you rest and wait and i also get um and this is for maybe those of you see so yeah fighting through the relationship maybe this is for some of you that finally found a mate or some or a companion is coming into your life that you haven't met yet that you're not aware of and you're going to fight for this love so this person is coming in to fight is what i'm hearing so they've been resting they have been waiting but they're getting anxious so now this person is coming in to fight for this connection they've been waiting to see who they're going to put their love into because you have the fool here so this fool card they're waiting to see who they're going to give their love to who they're going to take these chances with who they're going to move towards and they've chosen you Aries. they've chosen you to move toward and to fight for because many a times you got the devil card and the five of cups many a times in the in connection this person they have been left out in the cold and they don't want that anymore so that's why they sitting in that seven of pentacles energy waiting to see if this connection is what they should i almost hear jump the broom where did that come from waiting for this connection to see if they should <laughs> jump the broom hey that's what i'm getting this is what God's giving me. Jump the broom. Like, take the next step. Be a fool in the connection and open their heart and allow this love to flourish. Okay? Allow this love to flourish. Because they have been in rest mode. Um, they've been in rest mode. Now they're ready to work. For something, something that they were waiting on the right person and now that we have this three of wands as overall energy i feel like they feel like you're the right person to take this leap of faith with the dog too the dog want to go too the dog saying hey we both gonna jump out for this one because this is the right one okay 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 I feel like they also have a fear. I, I see fear here. This could be both of you guys, I think. Aries and this 
other fire sign that I'm picking up on, too. But it could be any sign, but I do feel fire here strongly. So you could be dating another fire sign or another fire sign. It's coming into your life. This person is don't want to be left out in the cold. They like this person is really set on saying, okay, this is my person. This is it. This is who I'm gonna be with forever. Yeah. That's what they want. And it, it's become a little obsessive because you got the devil here. But they are so determined. It's not obsessive to the point where it's like, oh, I'm going to die if I have to start over. No. This is obsessive thinking like, yay, I finally found my person. This is who I'm going to be with forever. Yeah. They on that. Yeah, they're ready to come up out of this resting time. They have been waiting to give their heart to someone. They're ready to come out of that. They're ready to open their heart. They have been waiting with the Seven of Pentacles, working on themselves, flourishing. So this person that's coming towards you is healed, ready, emotionally available. But they have some fears from their past. I you say insecurities or some form of triggers. But that comes with every relationship. You guys are going to have to learn to work through those together. Yeah. Okay. Let's get some advice. These readings are going to be straight to the point today. No sugar coating. I'm not going to use a whole bunch of decks. <clears throat> Let's get some advice for the connection. telling me it's too many okay <coughs> sorry guys let's get some advice for the connection mm. let's get some advice for the connection let's see oh that came back out yeah, um Came out reverse though. It's one more card. Okay. All right. Yeah. What I see here, the advice for the connection is neither one of y'all going nowhere. So you don't got to hold on to each other like for dear life. Honestly, neither one of y'all going nowhere. So you don't, you don't have to hold on too, too tight. Okay. With the Knight of Pentacles, you guys working hard together to make this relationship flourish. And each time, this is going to bring you some form of a new beginning that's going to allow this relationship to grow. So I believe the main advice for the connection is not to hold on so tight to each other that you can't breathe. I don't know why I'm getting that, you know. Um... Maybe this is just a person you get along with so well. And you know how sometimes when you meet that person, like, oh, finally I met my person. I think this is this is that type of connection. Finally, I met my person. This is really good. This is going in a positive direction. And I keep seeing jumping a broom, even though the fool is holding some sort of stick in their hand. They bag of tricks is what I like to call it. The bag of tricks. They got the bag of tricks that I see in this bag. And I keep seeing this commitment, marriage, stability, happiness, loyalty. That's what's in this here. A bag, the bag of tricks. You feel me? Do you feel me? Let me in. I'm just saying. This is what your person is saying to you, Aries. If you feel me, let me in. Because this is what I'm bringing. That's in a bag of tricks. That's not no baggage from no past relationship. These, this is all the wisdom and the lessons they learned to bring over into this new connection. So that it can be prosperous. Only thing I see here today, or that you guys both can work on, is the fear of losing each other. Even though that's that could work in your favor... <laughs> it could be good and bad, but the fear of losing someone because you don't want to be by yourself, or is it just the fear of not having a companion anymore because of something that went wrong? There is a difference. It's holding on too tight because you don't want to be by yourself or holding on too tight because you have a fear of losing your companion. See, the fear of losing your companion could be fixed easily. That is fixing... 
and learning to compromise with one another. But the fear of being alone is something you have to fix within yourself. Okay? But other than that, I see this being very, very prosperous and having the room to grow. And also being able to fight through. We had at the bottom of the deck a few minutes ago, um, what was it? The Nine of Wands when I first did the initial spread. That means persevering and fighting through troubled times. So this person ain't no... What I say, this person ain't no punk. They're not gonna run from problems. They're gonna sit in it with you. Okay, so let's get a message from their heart to yours and see what they would like to say to you, Aries. Because finally, they feel they met their person. Finally, they met their person. Okay, playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. Oh, I felt that when I said it. Let me put this down. I felt that love is the greatest healer. So whatever you've been through, Aries, whatever your person has been through that's coming through for the month of February, it's saying love is the greatest healer. So the more you love on each other, the more you care for each other the happier you will be, you will grow together, and the closer you will become, and, and the more this love is going to heal any past wounds or pains that you may or may not have had, okay? Okay, Aries, I like that. Finally, finally, they met their companion. Okay, all right, beautiful love story. Thank you guys for tuning in. And until next time, let intuition be your guide.